Hey everyone, who's excited for Christmas? I can't wait now. I've just done my food order. It's turning up on Saturday. I've got drinks coming out of my ears. I got food everywhere, cheese boards. One of the things that turned up today are items from Zara. We're gonna be doing a Zara haul, guys. We've got dupes for Chanel. We have a dupe for the Acne Studios, you know, like their massive oversized shearling jacket. I've already tried it on because I couldn't help resist that. The fit is so much better than the Acne one. The Acne one's great, or the Balenciaga one's also great, but they're so big that I think you have to look a certain way to pull them off, in my opinion. I've also got a dupe for the Balmain. You know the sweater that's got the buttons running up here? Oh, I'm just gonna get on with this because everything is such a good price and it's current. Let's begin. In. I'm gonna start with a cup. Well, actually, I'm gonna do all the knitwear first. I'm gonna try and do this without getting makeup all over it as well. Don't you just hate that? Because everything's got quite a tight neckline. I'm gonna show you though my tip for getting sweatshirts on without getting the makeup on it. It's really ungainly, and no one has ever seen me do this, but it works. Let's commence. These two items, I no, not that one. What am I talking about? These two items. I thought looked very similar to, is it Sports Max or Max Mara that have got knitted uh, tops out like this right now. I was actually looking at one on Louisa Via Roma a while ago because I saw someone on Instagram wearing it and I was like, I don't really want to spend the money on that because knitwear's great, even though I don't think this is wool. Knitwear's good, but you know what it's like? Unless you're dry cleaning the stupid thing every time, they just look ruined at the end. Oh, brilliant. It's viscose. I mean, it is 19.99. You can't really complain. Let's start trying this on. Here is the tip to avoid getting makeup on your top. I've put on this for some modesty. So what you do is you get your top whether you're in the changing room at the shop and you're thinking, I actually probably want to buy this and I don't want to ruin it for myself. Or you're just conscientious like me, right? What you do, you flip, you flip all of your hair so it's over your face, <laughs> bear with me. And then you put your head through so that your hair, so you come out the top like that. And that my friends, is how you avoid getting makeup. I mean, if you put your foundation down your neck, you're still gonna get transferred, but you know what I'm saying. What do we think? By the way, trousers and shoes are also from Zara. The shoes um, I actually got in the summer, so you, or maybe actually even in the spring, so you probably can't get them. The trousers, however, I actually had one of you in Harrods the other day stop me and ask where these are from. These are from Zara as well, as I just said. I bought these at the same time as the shoes back in the summer, so I will try and find them and link them. By the way, none of the links in this video for any of the clothes are affiliate. Yay, happy days. So here we have it, the first jumper. I, I really like it. Very flattering. Another thing I'm so relieved about is that I have got, I'm tall. And whenever I buy jumpers or tops from Zara, I always find they come up really, really short to me. Like when I say short, I mean like above the belly button. And even if I was to wear crazy high trousers, it, they would still look like a crop top. Um, and I'm really glad this isn't the case. What size is this? A medium. The second jumper, I, I love these. Good length. They look good with the trousers. I mean, if you had like a nice jacket over the top of this, it, it's actually quite warm as well. I gotta say that and the fit's really nice. Have I got this the right way around? Is that meant to go underneath that strip thing? Yeah, I like it. Oh, it's so nice. Mmm, very pleased. Not bad for $19.99. I'm gonna do uh, three more jumpers. Then I'm gonna come on to the two jackets. One is very Chanel and one is very Acne Studios, kind of Balenciaga inspired. You know I said to you that I found some stuff that is really similar to the Balmain knit jumpers, which look like this. The way I tend to shop, and I have loads of you actually asking me this question, saying, where do you like to shop from? And I actually totally get why you'd ask that question because when, Years, like years ago, um, one of my friends 
not that she's not going through this phase now, <laughs> but at the time she went through this phase of every outfit was like a total, like absolute corker of an outfit. And it was interesting for me to know where she shopped from because stuff looked a lot more expensive than it was. And it was just because she was mixing up designer with, with high street. And so it was interesting to know, to get ideas. Anyway, the places that I like to shop are Zara. I do like Zara. I also like to buy, you know this, I like to buy um, accessories as well as key items from places like Louisa Via Roma, such as like jackets and things like that, because they can really add to an outfit. You get yourself a quality jacket or a coat, you can wear it over the top of Topshop and it just makes the whole thing. Like, you can't beat the tailoring on the majority of designer things. You just can't beat it. I have you asking me this all the time on this jacket. I get a whole load of you asking me about these. The, these are the Balmain blazers. I have found loads of dupes over the years, but nothing compares to, to the exact fit and the material of how these look when you're wearing them. So I think dupes are really good for basics, but I try um, and just mix in a few things. But predominantly it's Zara. I like Karen Millen, but I can't wear their tops because they're really short on me. I used to love Topshop, but also I feel like their quality's gone downhill. And also again, their tops are always really short on me and their dresses are like pelmets on me. The other one that I used to shop from loads, but I don't anymore, is ASOS. Now, interestingly, I hope you don't mind me talking about this before I get on to the next. Interestingly, how many of you saw that the ASOS share price has dropped? I am really into the stock market and I dabble in it and I always have done. And I find it really interesting, not from just like a, a, a global economy perspective to see what's going on, but also um, just like with the stocks that I've got, I quite like seeing what's going on and finding out the times to buy and the, and the times to sell them. And ASOS, who I don't actually have shares in, although maybe now is the time to buy them because they've literally done that. They were saying that their sales have basically dropped off a cliff. And I feel like I know why. How many of you agree with this? When I first started buying from ASOS, ASOS came out okay when I was at university and it was the first main place that actually started selling clothes online and at the time ASOS was called As Seen On Screen and its, its methodology was about making cheap versions of the clothes that you would see on celebrities on TV. So I remember, who remembers that Can't Get You Out Of My Head video by Kylie Minogue where she's wearing like the white hooded outfit. That was on there. My friends, we were like, right, Kylie Minogue, Beyonce, literally there's buy every outfit. Then over time it became less about celebrity or necessarily like designer dupes and it just beca has become what it is today which is really poor quality stuff for the same money that it's always been and the amount of times that I've wanted to do ASOS hauls and I've sent everything back because I think I want to talk to you guys about things that I actually think are really good that are really good quality that are worth buying and the stuff that's turned up is exactly the same quality as she in you know i buy occasionally from that chinese website their designs are brilliant but their quality is bang on asos right now these are knit jumpers when i saw them i have one balmain sweater that i've had now for two years i've worn it to death it's brilliant it fits perfectly it looks great and i saw these and i thought these could be quite a good update to it because that jumper is kind of old now and it's gone a bit bobbly so I've got um these are all the same style by the way but they come in three colors I've got white camel and black these I got in a size large because they look like they're going to be quite short on me but let's give it a go I've got on the first and oh it's such a shame because this is really really nice I mean look at like the close-ups I've actually worn that top underneath it because this is way too short for me. This is what I always find. Now, if I got myself the medium, which is the size that I normally get in Zara, I guarantee you it would have been about here. Uh, can I stretch this down? Probably, probably not, because it's just gonna keep riding up. I've actually worn this top underneath it because as soon as I saw it, I thought this is gonna be too, sh too short. Normally with stuff like this, I wouldn't even bother trying it on because I can already see it's not gonna, it's not gonna work out. Oh, it's really disappointing. 
but hey if you're like a regular size then this is going to be absolutely fine please for any of you actually who have the same problem as me where everything's up here please can you tell me if you know of any places where you can get quality tops shirts knitwear that this isn't a problem with because it is really annoying i mean i could I suppose I could just keep it and wear this underneath it, but I don't really want to have to do that. What do you think? And the trousers I'm wearing are up to here, so it's not like they're really low either. I'm going to try on the other colours anyway, because those of you who are looking thinking, yeah, well, I actually quite like it. You might want to see what the other colours look like on. Here we go. So this is the white version. What's really odd is the sleeves are quite long, but it's so short. Same problem. Yet again, the same problem where the top is here. And I, and I realise when I'm actually looking at it on camera, it looks like, yeah, it's a bit short, but it's passable. But the thing is, when on me, I know that I'm going to wear this and throughout the day it will ride up and it will just annoy me. It will be irritating. Whereas if I was to have a top, um, actually, Reese is really good for if you want tops that are longer, that is one place. But ideally, I'd really like it to come to about here, like those other two did earlier. Oh, I really like these! I just, I wish they were just a little bit longer. I, I oh, how annoying. Anyway, quality feels good. These look great. You know, I told you I'm trying to re get a replacement for something. This is what i'm trying to replace which this is real wool and um I, i've just i've had this since 2016 i keep wearing it it looks fantastic it's so warm but it's really thin at the same time uh this is by pierre balmain i think which is the slightly lesser expensive line it's a roll neck but it's got see what i mean it's got buttons up the side problem with this it's gone bobbly and it's my own fault as to why this has happened. I have actually just bought on Amazon today this machine that you put batteries in and it goes over and it's meant to cut all of the bubbles off because even though this is kind of old now, I want I definitely want to get more wear out of it. And I'm actually thinking because the, the black has started to go a bit more dull, I'm thinking about removing the buttons and dyeing it. After I've taken the bobbles off, if it's even worth doing, I'm gonna do that. But you know, there may be those of you that this is this is good for. It's a nice basic. Did I say all of these, all of the knits were 19.99? I'm gonna move on now to the jackets and I'm actually gonna do it with this on so that you get a nice contrast because these are black. First one, this is the Chanel dupe. What do we think? It's tweed. It's actually the buttons on this are pretty good quality. Thoughts? What do you reckon? Slightly puffy shoulders from what I can see there. Tweed is really good quality and the tweed down there is slightly different texture to that which looks quite nice. And also at the time when I ordered this what I liked about this was that it's so it looks like you're wearing a white shirt underneath it even though you're not when i see it with that i don't like it with the sleeves that are too long on the body that is too short is that better it's quite smart looking i suppose and what it allows you to do is you could wear say a t-shirt under this so that this this bit is more casual but hey you've got that which looks more smart this was actually the two jackets were the most expensive things that i bought this was 79.99 and it yeah it is nice i don't know when i look at it though i'm thinking will i keep it it's it's nice but i'm thinking is it 80 pounds nice and also I have picked up some really good tweed items on eBay. Some, no, actually, all of them have been new items, not pre-loved, like not secondhand, but they've been from, you know how eBay now, there's a lot more people on there, retailers, retailers that sell actual new items. There's stuff on there like that, that I've picked up for kind of like 20, 30 or 40 pounds. Whilst this is nice, I don't know, I don't know. 
what do you think should we try it with a chanel pin and just see now for the final i already know that i'm keeping this because i've already tried this on the quality is brilliant okay right so see this this is what i was talking about about the acne dupe which actually looks better than acne so this is a faux shearling jacket now ideally i'd have shearling but hey this is zara so you know it's what you get normally in zara as i think i said earlier i normally take a size medium but in this i took a size small because the lady in the pictures it looked well normally the ladies in the pictures pretty much always take the medium and I normally go off that but she was actually wearing a small so I thought I'd do the same. Small is a perfect fit. The inside looks kind of like teddy bear material and then the outside has got, the outside looks like suede, feels like suede but it's not and then it's got, um, it's got like silver, silver things going on with it what i quite like about these is they do like give i feel like they give you a sculpted look so if i were to put this on now can you see it's actually quite a flattering shape i think and i think it's a really good size too you could put the collar up on it do you see what i mean and that it's actually very similar to the acne jacket only the acne jacket's huge however this is what okay so even though the acne jacket is really oversized you could just get the largest size in this and wear that and you would still get the same look. I just know on me that because I'm quite curvy around here, if I get myself anything that's oversized, it just adds width, does that make sense? So the thinnest part of my leg is like around here and lower down. And if I get a jacket that's up to here that's really big, I feel like it um, accentuates here, but not in a good way. So I normally try and get things that have got a bit more of a structure, structure to them. I really think that as you develop your style, you know what looks good on you, you know what, what works, and you just sort of like figure it out as you go. Like I really think that everyone has got a core style, even if you don't know what the core style is right now, everyone has that. And I quite like that sort of preppy look. I've always really liked that. And one one sort of look that I always go for and I always do is the jeans with a nice blazer look. Cause it's kind of smart and casual at the same time. But yeah, play around with it. If you like the look of this, this was also $79.99. And it goes from a size extra small all the way up to an XXL. So as I say, if you wanna do that like major big look, you could just get a, a bigger size up. Let me know what you think as well. Bye.